we were looking at who owns creations, discoveries, and inventions made by an employee or agent. Now, this we're focusing on this. You are working for someone. You are an employee of a person. You're a worker. While you are working, you have made a discovery. Maybe your company is focusing on, uh, on tomatoes. Now you have made a discovery on how tomatoes can be used to fly private jets. Mm -hmm. Now, who owns that invention? You know, or you are working in a radio studio and uh, in the course of your work, you have recorded the music using the equipment, the studio and uh, industrial materials of your employer. Who owns that work? A more relatable one is the fact that many people write, write books, write um, articles, write, do also all manner of intellectual property for their employers or while in employment. And most times you, you just see the names of the employers or the names of the organization. There is no acknowledgement even mm -hmm. acknowledging that person. But what we are looking at today is who actually owns the intellectual property, the right to those inventions, who has a right to those discoveries, to those creations. So once you are in an employment and in the course of your employment, you make any new discoveries or you create an intellectual property or Whatever it is you've done that is registrable. Now, who the person that owns that uh, uh, product is your employer or your master. Because you did that in the course of a paid employment. So it's distinct from, it's different from uh, 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 probably as you work with an organization and at your own spare time on a Saturday, you go into any studio, make your music, make your production. That is outside of your work hours. That is outside of, and you did not use the equipment of your organization. In that case, that copyright, that patent, that whatever that is registrable, trademark, belongs to you. And you can register that as to yourself. But if you did it in the course of your work, in a paid, in a paid employment rather, it belongs to your master or to your employer. Yes. And to add to that, one would ask, okay, uh, while working in my place of work, I learned how to design websites, you know, and now I've made a discovery on how to write uh, programs and program uh, applications and the rest using mm -hmm. skill gotten there. Would it mean that my employers are the owners of all what I've written? No. No, 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 no. no, no. Now, the focus here is using the equipment, using the paid time mm -hmm. of your employer to make or do discoveries. All what you are doing there is for them. And they will own all, all intellectual properties related to such work as it were. And for this, all what we have said here today, you may we, our authorities are section 2, sub 4, then section 14, sub 4 of the Patent and Designs Act. Thank you, and go Sabi Law.